Hello and good evening, and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 8th, 2020. Well, today we find out that Mitch McConnell and uh, Nancy Pelosi both want to basically uh, make a deal on the government funding as well as the stimulus package before they go on vacation. Republicans, Democrats, and Independents are saying that the compromise bill needs to include stimulus checks. McConnell says that if the White House, as well as the Republican Party, wants stimulus checks inside the new proposed bill, that he will not stand in the way. Which is a good thing. The White House says that the new approved Pfizer, vac the, the <laughs> Pfizer vaccine could be approved as soon as Friday. And in fact, a, the first person to receive the Pfizer vaccine was a 90-year-old woman in the United Kingdom. Uh, let's see here. The politicians are going to piggyback the stimulus package on top of the government funding bill in hopes to have a greater chance of it passing. Senator Bernie Sanders says that he is very disappointed that there is no mention of stimulus checks inside the new compromise bill as of yet. I also have a clip of Senator Joe Manchin from Virginia as he, as he says about the extended unemployment and what it has inside it for you, in case you guys didn't catch that in one of my earlier episodes. So here's a quick clip. I should write back. Thank you. You've got additional unemployment insurance. That's $300 for 18 weeks, $10 billion a week. That's $180 billion. And that includes gig workers. Yeah, that includes all the gig workers and people that basically that we covered under the First Cares Act. Retroactive December 1 if we don't get it done until the second or third week of December. And as you notice, what he said was that it was $300 a week for 18 weeks retroactive from December 1st of this year. Which means that you'd be getting $300 a week for 18 weeks, which would end on basically, I think, March 31st of next year. And it'd be retroactive from December of this year. And the White House is apparently asking two Senate Republican leaders to include a $600 stimulus check in the $908 billion stimulus package proposal. Well, the bipartisan senators like the $9.8 billion proposal because it's billions and not trillions. They think trillions is too much money to spend on people's lives. Isn't that nice of them? Secretary of the Treasury Stephen Mnuchin at 5 p.m. today he presented Nancy Pelosi with a proposal, a new stimulus proposal, to the tune of $916 billion. And apparently there is a $600 stimulus check included inside this new proposal. But they had to take something out to make room for it. Now, can you guess what that something is they took out? I mean, if you can, I mean, uh, please throw in your comments because you're going to find out what they can take out and you're not going to like it. Because basically what they took out, let's see here, they're saying that the stimulus checks would be in place of the $300 a week unemployment. This is how the Republicans are, though, because you know how they feel about giving out super, uh, supercharged unemployment. They think it's a disincentive for people to go back to work. In some cases, this may be true, but in most cases, it is not. I know a lot of people out there that are looking for work, and they're looking very hard, but it's hard to find work because people, well, businesses are basically afraid of COVID infections because they don't want to get sued. Well, businesses, businesses need to get over that and actually start hiring people so we can actually get back on the road to recovery. But... Basically, on this whole stimulus check versus unemployment deal, I would actually like my viewers' comments on what they think about this. I mean, do you think the $600 a week to all the uh, American citizens is a good trade-off for the unemployment? Or would you rather have the unemployment and still leave out millions of other people that can't get that unemployment? I'd actually appreciate your comments on this, so please uh, leave me comments in my comment bar below. And... I will make sure that I respond to everyone I get. But Chuck Schumer says that the stimulus checks needed to be added to the $908 billion 
instead of being replaced by uh, instead of unemployment being replaced by it. I actually agree with Chuck Schumer. I mean, we need to have the supercharged unemployment, but for those who actually need it, that needs to be a bit more stricter on that because there's a lot of people out there. I mean, I know of probably about five people so far that they've been living off a of supercharged unemployment and they don't want to go back and get a job. One of them happens to be a family member of mine, which I will re remain nameless. And a few others are a few other viewers of mine that have commented on my videos and asked me, should they go back to work? And I keep telling them, yes, you need to go back to work because if you don't go back to work, your skills are going to get rusty. And then when it's time for you to go back to work and there's a person in front of you that's going to, that has the same skills as you, that's more fresher and they want less money. And you're saying, well, mine are still up to grade and I want this much money. Who are they going to hire first? They're going to hire the person that's asking for less money that has the more basic skills that they need than you because you're asking for too much and your skills have gotten rusty. So as far as this whole thing with Chuck Schumer goes, I do agree with him on the un supercharged unemployment as long as it's more restricted to the people who actually need it compared to the people who do not need it. As well as adding the 600, oh, that's, come on, 600 bucks, really? How is that going to help out people? I mean, 1200 bucks is a lot more and it could, it could buy more food for the uh, uh, starving family especially if it's $1,200 per adult and $500 per child. But what they're doing is they're trying to say $600 per adult and $600 per child. That may help out, but if you, how's it going to help out that much? I mean, okay, you have one adult and two children, that's 1800 bucks right there. That's going to be gone in food expenses and other expenses before the month, excuse me, before the month is up if they're on unemployment, if they're not on unemployment. And if they are on unemployment and they put the $600 in lieu of the unemployment, then we, we're still going to screw the economy. Well, should I say screw the people? Because, that, because Mitch McConnell and the other Senate and House representatives and leaders do not realize that everyone needs to be able to eat. Everyone needs to be able to survive. Without them actually passing immediate stimulus to help out all the people, with the exceptions of the rich, the people who don't need it uh, will actually be a good thing because it'll help our economy get back on its feet. And this is what we're looking for most of all, to get our economy back on our feet so we can get back on our feet so we can become a more productive nation like we were before this whole pandemic struck. But this is also my commentary on, on my whole stimulus package proposal here. Mitch McConnell needs to basically step up the plate and say, you know what? Let's go for the $20 mark because, as you know, it was actually a Schumer, not Schumer, um, Mnuchin, who came up with a $1.92 dollars offer that was shot down by Nancy Pelosi earlier this year. And now we have a $9.16 billion dollar offer on the table that includes stimulus checks that are, are worth half of what they should be worth. So basically, they're trying to screw the, con screw the people by not allowing us to have supercharged unemployment as well as stimulus checks. But here's how I think they should do that one. If they're gonna do the supercharged unemployment and the stimulus checks, if you're on unemployment and you're getting the supercharged unemployment for that 16, 18 weeks, uh, then you shouldn't be able to get a stimulus check at all because you're getting one already via your supercharged unemployment. For those of people that don't qualify for unemployment or, or aren't on it, then just give them a stimulus check because this way you don't have to worry about spending, overspending money. This target the unemployment to the people who actually need it and I'll then give the stimulus checks to those who didn't get the supercharged unemployment. I mean, they already have the technology. They can do this pretty fast. They're not that stupid. So let's hope our, our politicians actually get off their butts and do something to help out our, our people and our economy. But until next time, this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. You guys have a wonderful evening, and I am sorry I didn't broadcast you guys yesterday. I actually got home from work because my job went from part-time to full-time, and I've been getting like super tired lately after I got off work. It's just a lot of work. 
So I will try to broadcast again to you tomorrow or on Thursday, whichever comes up with more valuable information that I feel that I actually know you guys will enjoy. And I hope you guys please comment on the topic of which is better, the supercharger unemployment or the $600 stimulus checks. I know you'd rather have $1,200, but what are you going to do about it? This is what the White House and the Trump administration, as well as the Republican leaders in the Senate have to say about this. So I can't do nothing about that. I'm sorry. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening and be safe. And remember, we're all in this together because that's all we have is each other. Till then, have a great evening. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,